and raised in Quebec City, Jean Dussault earned his medical degree at Université Laval. He embarked on his research career in endocrinology at the University of Toronto, and then on to the University of California, where his clinical research focus turned him towards the thyroid hormone. Two individuals in New York developed a, a technology called radioimmunoassays, which then were subsequently used by many endocrinologists, myself included, to, to measure blood levels of various hormones and uh, do so immediately recognized uh, the potential and the possibility and used his own particular interest to apply that methodology to uh, measuring thyroid hormones with the results that uh, we're celebrating today. Before Dussault's discovery, infants born with congenital hypothyroidism would almost certainly develop a tragic condition known as cretinism. The children who are born with thyroid deficiency go on to develop serious, serious uh, mental retardation. Cretinism is the physical manifestation of it with very characteristic appearance, gross impairments of uh, mental development, and short stature, of protruding tongue, speech impairments. In his labs in California, Dussault had developed a specific antibody against the thyroid hormone. He returned to Quebec with his antibody discovery and joined a team that was already conducting a groundbreaking genetic screening program, testing newborn blood samples from around the province. So when he came, we looked at the blood spot that we got from the screening program for PKU and asked ourselves, would it be possible to measure uh, T4, the thyroid hormone, in these spots? And he very rapidly started to work at trying to demonstrate that using the samples that were already available from the genetic network system that he could use dry blood spot from filter papers and be in a position to measure T4 in those very tiny amount of blood samples. The first time we saw the first curve, Jean came in my office and said it works. So you got an easy therapy, a devastating disease, and a screening program that can very, very rapidly identify the carrier and provide them with a solution that will treat their problem. So it was the beginning of a, a quite impressive uh, input into modern medicine because cretinism was known since the Greek and was still in the textbook at that time. And over uh, Jean's lifetime, uh, cretinism uh, you know, disappeared from the textbook. And when they then went back to examine these children uh, five, six years later, uh, statistically they had a perfectly normal developmental pattern compared to the population. It's not a Canadian story, it's a Canadian accomplishment, but which has been transferred to almost every public health system in the world. Now, essentially, the problem of neonatal hypothyroidism, thyroid deficiency, has been eliminated. Anybody who works in that field or use a screening program know uh, the name of Jean Dussault. Canadian Medical Hall of Fame laureate for 2007, Dr. Jean Dussault.